Hi, so in a previous video we talked about uh, subtracting two sums uh, using a number line. And what I said is that if we have something like 54 take away 18, we can do that using a number line because really we're looking at the difference between the two numbers. There are, however, a couple of different methods of doing the same sum. And one of the most popular is using column subtraction. And what we do is we put the two numbers, one above the other to make sure the 4 and the 8 which are both units are above each other and the 5 and the 1 which are both tens are above each other. And then what we say is that we have 4 units take away 8 units. Well I, I can't do that. If I have 4 sweets and I want to take 8 sweets away I can't do that. So what I do is I borrow it from this column. OK, and the way I do that is I say, well, I'm going to make that 14. But because I've borrowed a library book, I have to give my library book back. And the way I do that is I put it back onto the shelf. OK, so now I'm in a calculation where I have 14 take away 8. Well, 14 take away 8 is 6. So I write the 6 down. And then on the other side, I have 5 take away 1 take away 1. So 5 take away 2 is 3. So the answer to this question, 54 take away 18 is 36. And this method, which has been around for a little while now, um, works perfectly well um, with also larger numbers. So it might be that I've got a question like 765 and I'm going to take 492 away from that. Well again I take away the units so 5 take away 2 is 3. There's nothing to carry on and, and that's quite easy for me and then the the column in the middle the tens column I've got 6 take away 9. Well again I can't do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make that 16 and because I'm making that 16 I've got to pay it back. So there's my library book and then I'm going to pay it back by putting it back on the library shelf. So I've now got 16 take away 9. Well 16 take away 9 is 7 so I write my 7 down. And then the last little bit I've got 7 take away 4 take away 1. So 7 take away 4 is 3 take away 1 is 2 is 273 is the answer to 765 take away 492. Um, the system works, the method works very very well. Um, you do sometimes see people putting a one there and then they put a one down here, something like that. That's absolutely fine. The main thing is, is that if you borrow the library book, you have to pay it back again uh, by putting it back in the correct column. Uh, there is another way of doing that, which makes this system perhaps a little bit clearer. And if you look at the next video, that will show you how to do this sum using a slightly different method. I hope that's OK. And uh, if you visit the site, there are some worksheets and learning sheets and you can practice these questions.